finally, I met my spirit guide. Peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. Like a solar flare, yeah, we keep it bright. Take a look into the sky, yeah, I be taking flight. 2020 vision, everything gon' be alright. Ascending to new heights with my third eye. Elevate your frequency, ain't no other way to be. When we rise into 5D, feel the love strong. Open your chakras, can't lock to energy hot. It's about time. You know, if you've been watching my videos, I've been trying to meet my spirit guide for so long now. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because that's when it really happens. So how did this all start? Okay, so I'm meditating in the morning as I usually do. I always do it in the morning, right? I always do it in the morning. I have like never heard of anyone do it right before bed. Really, I've never heard that. So, because people are trying to tell me, like they watch my videos and they're telling me they're trying to do it at night. I said, no, try to do it in the morning. My videos always say I do it in the morning. So, and then in the morning, I meditated, right? It was, uh, it was about an hour, a little over an hour went by and then finally, boom, finally. So I actually think what happened was, again, it's hard to remember the, the, the timeline of everything happening because it was, it was quite a while where I was having these dream slash astral lucid experiences, okay? So let me explain. I was meditating and then I so I just fell into a dream, right? I fell into a dream, and uh, I'm not gonna go into the dream. It's, it's not important for this video right now. And after this dream happened, it, the dream was kind of long actually. And then what happened was, I believe I just woke up, continued to focus on my breath, and then what happened was I had. The vibration stage, the vibration stage. I hit the vibration stage, and this time it was different. It was very, it was a little different than usual. So like, I heard that high pitched sound, right? I did. I heard that high pitched sound, and this. The reason it was a little different this time, the vibration stage. It was like super, super like electric. Like it was like almost like lightning was just going through my whole being or something like that like it, it was it, it was more electric than ever that's that's what I have to say so after and I was in this state for quite some time because I, I was actually doing what I tell you guys to not do I say don't analyze it right I was kind of like whoa like this is like you know I, I was just thinking about it a lot because it was different. It was like really, really electric, electrifying. So I was really just like thinking about that, kind of observing that um, a little too deep. But then, and so it was making the, the vibrations, uh, it made it last a little longer, right? And it made it last a little longer. And then I would, I, it would kind of, it would kind of like diminish a little, but then I would like bring myself back to just you know breath emptying the mind pure black darkness and finally the vibrations lifted again and it lifted so much so much so much so much all of a sudden i was hovering above this this place like way high up in the air and it looked um almost like almost like a desert or something like you know the ground was like it was like kind of rocky, like that kind of like desert looking rock. So it was like kind of bright, you know what I mean? Like the light brown. And I, I remember, I, I can't actually remember what I was seeing because it was like, I remember seeing something like, it was almost like a city, I think. It was almost like a city. Oh, okay, I think I'm connecting the dots now. <laughs> so it was like a city, but it was like, you know, I, I couldn't make out what I was looking at. Honestly, I don't think I could make out what I was looking at. I was just staring at it. All of a sudden, all I'm like, I'm just like thinking, like, what's going on? Like, what, what am I seeing right here? What's going on? 
Like, and then I'm like, is this like a, I'm like, is this like a video game I'm like watching or something? Like, I don't even know, I don't even know what this is. And all of a sudden, I'm on the ground somewhere over there where I was watching. And I'm like, well, I want to see like what my hand, I want to see my hands, see what they look like, right? And so I lift up my hands, I look at my hands, and they do not look like my hands. They do not look like my hands. They were like, I had like, this like, it was like olive looking, olive colored looking, like almost like clay hands. Like, like my fingers were like huge or something like, or maybe I even had less fingers than like, than five or something crazy like that. I was like, what? I was like, what? What? <laughs> and then all, and then after that, I'm getting out of bed. Then I get out of bed, realize I'm, realize I'm actually projecting. And I'm, I'm right there, right here, right next to my window. And I can't really see too well. And then I start, like, in the back of my mind, I start thinking, like, about the sleep paralysis demons that people will be talking about, right? And so, <laughs> so I'm, like, kind of, like, mm, I don't know if I want to turn around. Like, I don't know. I was getting, like, I was kind of, uh, kind of getting nervous about that. So, I open up the window. I open up the window. I'm looking, I'm looking out, and then all, I realize, you know, this, this does not look like my neighborhood at all. This does not look like my neighborhood at all. And then, so I, I hold my breath. I realize, okay, yeah, well, I can still breathe. I can still breathe, so I'm not gonna just, because I was like, I'm about to dive right now, but I'm like, let me just make sure. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, um, so I, I would try to face through the window. I couldn't, I couldn't get the, couldn't get through the screen. I was like crashing the screen. So I got rid of the screen. I was, got rid of the screen. And then I'm, I'm like, all right, so my goal, my goal this whole time is to just meditate. It wasn't even, it's not really even to me a spirit guide, right? So at this point, all I want to do is just meditate. Well, someone on Reddit mentioned if you meditate in the astrals, then for them, if they meditate in the astrals, the spirit guide usually just comes to them. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to just meditate on top of my roof. So I go on top of my roof, and it was it was so dark. Like I, th it was way darker, uh, in in this place that I was at. Like all, excuse me. <laughs> on top, I, I just drank some coffee. Uh, I was on top of my roof, and like you know everything. It was like nighttime. It was like way darker than it actually was in the physical room. And so I'm sitting there. I sit down, start to med start to look down at the ground, and I'm 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 just meditating, right? Just just meditating right and then the next thing that happens is it's 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 as if the scenery just completely changed right it's as if the the scenery completely changed i i, I was med i meditated for probably like maybe like 10 seconds like 10 seconds all of a sudden something happens the major shift in my consciousness like i was like teleported i was teleported to the city and the city is kind of like the city kind of looks like desert like right so i'm thinking i'm just i'm just in this place like looking around and yeah does that make even any sense i said it was like desert like i mean i feel like the ground was kind of like it wasn't like you know it was like gravel kind of like that like that light like gravel kind of thing and so First thing I see, like I'm in this place. There, there. I think there's like a house or a building right, right here. And then on, in front of it, um, there is the there's like a little little pillar thing or something. And then on it, I I notice there's some kind of decoration, right? I notice there's some kind of decoration, and right below it, the decoration piece that I first saw. There was a heart, right? So I'm looking at this heart. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm just gonna meditate. Just keep meditating. So I'm looking at this heart, and I'm just like meditating, and I'm trying to feel like my heart chakra, like my heart. I'm trying to, as I'm meditating, I'm trying to feel it, feel it, feel it, right? And I did it for probably like, like 15 seconds of just meditating. Yeah, it's so quick, right? <laughs> but all of a sudden. This is when it starts to get a little juicy. So <laughs> I I start I start connecting my heart with this heart-shaped thing, right? And then all of a sudden I start like hearing a voice. 
I start hearing voice and the the the, the thing is it was not my voice. I, like I distinctively heard another male voice, right? Another voice. A voice that I cannot right now connect with anyone. I cannot connect with anyone. So I don't know like, whose voice it would have been, right? So I'm hearing this voice and this is where my memory fails me. So I, I'm communicating with this voice, right? Maybe I need to meditate on this a little bit more, but I'm, I'm communicating with this voice and I start just like walking around, this, rocking around this, this, this city. And maybe this is the city that I saw initially, actually, right? So that, that was the dots I was connecting when I started filming this and talking about this. Maybe, maybe I'm back, I'm in the city that I was on top of or something like that. And um, I also want to mention a theory I have about why I teleported. I'll mention that a little bit later. So I'm communicating with what I think is my spirit guide, but hold on. So I'm communicating, right? Right. I'm walking around the city and then I'm just like, are you my spirit guide? And then intuitively, I get the message, yes, yes. I got the message, yes, intuitively, right? And I don't remember exactly, exactly if he responded yes or yes I am, but the next message that I remember hearing, the next thing that I heard from him was your atoms are not from here, I think, or wait, did he say from here or from Earth? I can't, I think before I was thinking from Earth, your atoms are not from Earth, but now I just said from here. So one of those things, he said like, your atoms are not from here or from Earth. So that was pretty, oh, I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> really? So, uh, I mean, I've always thought that, like, that my, me, like, my soul, my consciousness is not from Earth. Like, I, I, like, I've always, like, f kind of felt that, like, like, I'm from another galaxy or something, you know what I mean? And so, I mean, he told me this. And so, right after that, it was almost as if I, I kept walking around the city and it's almost like I lost consciousness. Like, I lost my awareness my awareness dropped or something like that and then i i like was walking and then like i think i like pulled i pulled up my phone so that i could like write this message maybe it was in reddit or something like that or on a youtube video it was like commenting like something about astral projection or maybe about, about my spirit guy meeting my spirit guy i'm like hold on i was like what and i look around I'm like this isn't real like I'm still here, like, and then I, <clears throat> I did the, how my, how my nose, I could still breathe, I'm like, oh, I'm still here, like, what happened, <laughs> and then, uh, I'm like, alright, well, I'm gonna keep meditating, and just keep seeing where it takes me, so, I see, like, this point on this one building, in the city, I'm still in the city, and, oh, I'm just focusing my awareness on this dot, just standing there in the middle of the city, just focusing my awareness on this dot, and then, all of a sudden, after like 10 seconds, everything starts fading out. It starts fading out. And then it's like this little like circle, right? It's this like around the dot. So everything is black and all I see is the dot and it's it's darkness all around the dot. I'm like, I don't want to lose consciousness. So I'm going to keep focusing as hard as I can. <laughs> and so I just woke up after that. I just woke up after that. <laughs> I couldn't maintain that. Die. I couldn't make it I couldn't make the scene open up again and once I woke up once I snapped back I <laughs> I was just trying to think about this experience uh, initially I wanted to keep going but I'm like I want to I want to remember this I want to remember oh yeah and I just remembered like walking around the city I was seeing some signs seeing some kind of signs and I was ah, I really was trying to remember so bad I was, but I was like there's, there's no way I'm gonna remember this there's no way I'm gonna remember this so I just keep going and then I yeah so why why did I after I was meditating on my why on my, on my house why did I all of a sudden like teleport somewhere right why did I teleport somewhere that that was like 
<clears throat> that was super interesting to me why that happened and you know I, I initially I was thinking like may, maybe I went into like almost like a lucid dream state or maybe it was like my spirit guide almost like you know like in Harry Potter where they throw there's the cloak the invisibility cloak kind of thing like that instead of like an invisibility cloak maybe it, it was like Maybe it was like my spirit guide because it communicated with me. Maybe it like threw on something like a cloak. You know, I'm just not a cloak actually, but like something like a cloak where it made me think that I was like in this other place. But actually, maybe I was still on the roof. Maybe I was still on the roof in a meditated trance. And then almost like Inception style, I was like within another like dream of the astrals if that makes sense so because like when I was when I was looking at my hands in the beginning I because I think this this was the sequence after looking at my hands then I then I believe I was just here right in front of my window so maybe I was in front of you know I was out of body maybe the whole time but for me what I was seeing was like this desert right and I was looking at my hands and and I was seeing this whole scenery, but maybe I was here the whole time. So that that I don't know. I don't know exactly, but that is what happened. And I'm gonna segue from this, you know, being here and seeing something completely else. Uh, I'm gonna make a video about that more in depth, lucid dream versus astral projection, and the the accounts that I have heard from many people and what other people have speculated or thought about this so like at lucid dreaming and I should projection the connection in that and so yeah I, 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 I finally met my spirit guide as I, I believe I really believe that because oh man I wish I could remember exactly what we were talking about I wish I could remember exactly what we were talking about but intuitively I got the message yes I met my spirit guide and he said I'm not from here basically I'm not here I'm not from here and you know he said my atoms are not from here so you know when a, a person passes away they they can measure about I think it was like 21 grams gets gets lost right is the person weighs less is this like you know my atoms he said are not from here from earth is that basically saying you know what I mean like when you pass away your atoms get transferred and that's why that's that's just one example of the afterlife and coming from a different place and when you die you don't you don't you can either reincarnate or you can go somewhere else you know what i mean so that 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 was my experience here so that was my experience and i'm super pumped about this hopefully i can actually see i hopefully i can actually see uh, my spirit guy the next time, but maybe it's for a reason, you know, it's probably for a reason I'm not and by the way that the Before I started meditating. I, I set the intent to meet my spirit guide I sent loving intentions very loving intentions to meet my spirit guide and that's how it happened I think maybe that's why all of it happened. So this this is my experience I have more videos here about astral projections click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notifications because I have so many more lucid and astral videos coming your way and more spiritual videos in general as well so till next time peace out please keep your mind at ease it's obvious like a solar flare, yeah, we keep it bright Take a look into the sky, yeah, I be taking flight 2020 vision, everything gon' be alright Ascending to new heights with my third eye Elevate your frequency, ain't no other way to be When we rise into 5D, feel the love strong Open your chakras, can't be locked to energy, huh?